so I stumbled across a really funny channel the other day called Free Press Media. You might have heard of it. They post quite a few interesting videos and there are two now, yay, about me, little old me and their songs and let me tell you what, I'll never be out of a job, number one and two, this guy is talented. He has got songwriting abilities, one and two, excellent vocals on point. So unfortunately, there isn't really much to the visual component of his videos, it's just a picture and the audio plays over it, so I'm gonna play that part for you and if you wanna listen to more of the songs, I will have them linked in the description below. But without further ado, Let's listen. Atheist Jacqueline Glenn wears a shirt that says fiction. It has symbols from many different religions. She once said all religions are equally dis delusional. Now think about that statement. Even if you hate religions, can you really claim they are equally delusional? That seems like you're lumping everything together. That seems like you're overgeneralizing. To me, that doesn't... To me. Okay. So I'm not sure exactly to what he's referring to, at what point I said all religions are equally delusional, but... I mean, when you think about it, like, imagine watching a bunch of Disney movies for the first time and then saying, well, they're all equally a fairy tale. Some may seem more ridiculous than others, but they are all fairy tales. You know what I'm saying? Let me just take a moment to appreciate this guy's voice. I mean, like, I've tried to prepare you for how good it was going to be, but did it, did I convey it? Did, did you, were you surprised? Were you taken aback? You're like, whoa, damn, he's good. Not very intellectually deep now is Taoism really the same as Satanism Christianity or Islam are okay the religions aren't the same they're all a delusion I never said they were the same I know people will argue with me because I've had these conversations before about things like Taoism or Eastern religions and they're like oh they're more about spirituality or they're more about you know, philosophy or state of mind. Okay, uh, if you look these things up, rituals and practices at certain dates, food may be set out as a sacrifice to the spirits of the deceased gods, such as during King Ming Festival. This may include slaughtered animals such as pigs and ducks or fruit. Another form of sacrifice involves the burning of joss paper or hell bank notes on the assumption that the images thus consumed by the fire will reappear, not as a mere image, but as the actual item in the spirit world. Okay, it's a bunch of bullshit, right? It's a bunch of bullshit. They're all a bunch of bullshit, which is what I was trying to say, which is what the fiction shirt's trying to say, that they're all fictional, right? Now I once read an atheist book that admitted not all religions are exactly the same. No, everyone knows that all religions are not exactly the same. Just because they're not all the same doesn't mean that they all don't have something in common, which in this case would be that they're all a delusion. Glenn Glenn misspeak in when she said that statement. If that's the case, then hey, we can forgive that. <laughs> but it seems <laughs> Thank like you. she really Thank means you. that because she insists on wearing that Shirt. Shirt. That shirt. That shirt. Not the best statement because they're not all equal. Some religions are better than others. Some religions are fundamentalists and some religions are more liberal minded. No, no, okay, so this is, he's talking about the people. Some religions have more fundamentalists and some religions have people who are more open minded. That's not what I'm talking about whenever I am picking apart a religion's tenets. I'm talking about the actual religion, not the people who hold the religion. Because if you compare Christians today to Christians hundreds of years ago, you're going to have almost seemingly a completely different religion. So I'm not talking about the people that hold those beliefs. I'm talking about the actual beliefs themselves. And that's why I can't an atheist like Jacqueline Glenn, Jacqueline Glenn because I see the nuances I see all the shades of gray 50 shades of gray and I, I believe, believe in God, God. 
Okay. There's just some religions I don't like, some religions I do like. How can that be that atheists will lump them all together? Atheists have straw men too. No. So don't be like Jacqueline Glenn. So that was the first video. Now, I saw this video and I laughed really hard and I wanted to make a video about it because it's freaking hilarious, right? It's, I mean, like, that's pretty good comedy, at least for me. Um, but there's a better one, you know? Just when you think it can't get any better and you're like, oh man, this is gold, you get better. Uh, there's one that he made about me uh, dissing Beliebers because I've made, I think, maybe one or two videos about Justin Bieber making fun of believers because you got these little girls, they're like 12, 13, 14 years old, and they just like idolize this guy, right? Kid, this whatever you want to call Justin Bieber, they idolize him and will do crazy things like come up with hashtags cut for Bieber because they don't like whatever's going on in his personal life, so they cut their wrists, okay? That's a little bit ridiculous, okay? And they call themselves believers and I've made videos about it and he decided to sing about this. So let's, here we go. Atheist Jacqueline Glenn Hi. satirized believers in one of her videos. She made them look so silly. Like I said, they were cutting their wrists, cut cut for Bieber. I didn't really have to try to make them look silly. That was just kind of a happened on its own. She made fun of them because they'll go to the greatest extremes. Yeah. Yeah. To believe in Bieber. And, okay, <laughs> not because they believe in Bieber. I mean, I also believe in Bieber. I don't know if that makes me a believer, but I do believe that Justin Bieber is a person that exists. So there's that. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna sit there and cut my wrists and cry over some stupid bullshit that he's done because I don't really care. But guess what, folks? She is much the same way when it comes to atheist leader Richard Dawkins. Atheist leader. Dear leader, Richard Dawkins. Okay, no. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's written a lot of really great books and it's been really influential and, you know, a lot of people look up to him, but that doesn't mean that he's like the leader of atheists, Richard Dawkins. I mean, there's a lot of others out there too that are doing pretty cool shit. Like there's Sam Harris, there's Lawrence Krauss, there's Penn Jillette. There's a lot of people out there doing a lot of really cool things and they're not like atheist leaders. It's just people who are influential within a community. None of them are being like put on a pedestal or voted into the presidency or, you know, bowed down before or like worshipped or some weird shit. They're just people. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. She interviewed Dawkins once in a video. And? <laughs> she may not be a groupie of Bieber. She may not be a believer. But she is a groupie of Richard Dawkins. At least, Justin Bieber has a six pack. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Okay. <clears throat> it's okay to be a groupie of someone as long as they have a six pack. Now don't you forget that, folks. Richard Dawkins, Richard Dawkins, the atheist girls love you. You got your groupies from your science. Atheist girls love, love you. you. They uncritically accept every word that comes out of your mouth. Well, that's not true. There are actually things that I haven't completely agreed with. I'm not going to get into it because there's no point, especially since this video is already getting pretty long. But yeah, I mean, I look up to a lot of people who I don't agree with 100% of the time, and that's okay because we're still pretty much fighting the same fight, we're on the same side, and we agree on most things. And if you want to accomplish things, you have to stick together instead of constantly nitpicking at each other, which is something that I think a lot of people within the atheist community could actually stand to learn from. But let's see what his next extremely intelligent point is going to be in this song. <laughs> Justin Bieber, Richard <laughs> Dawkins. Going. Jacqueline Glenn. Okay, okay, this is ridiculous. Okay, okay, we, we get the point. Justin Bieber, Richard Dawkins, me, 
atheist, uh, <laughs> really good vocals. I need to learn a lot from this guy, not only his points, but if I could just sing like that, my life would be perfect. But yeah, this video is pretty much just kind of funny. I mean, I, I saw that and I couldn't not share that with you guys because, I mean, you don't, like I said, you don't get comedy like that and you always need a constant reminder that Justin Bieber has a six pack and Richard Dawkins might not. So that's, you know, if you want to take anything away from this video, don't forget that, you guys, please. So if you want one of my amazing fiction shirts that he was so lovingly talking about at the beginning of one of his songs, you can go in the description box below and go to jackandglenn.com and get yours today. Yeah! Shameless self-promotion. And also make sure to check out my Facebook page and Twitter and Tumblr and Instagram and all that good shit. And thank you to everyone out there who's my Patreon. I really appreciate it. So like this video, share it everywhere. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.